Now I want to bring in Wall Street criminal defense attorney Vinu Varghese uh, to talk a little bit more about what Judge Juan Mershon may do next. Thank you for taking the time to be with me. I know you joined us throughout the trial and anticipated a guilty verdict. And you've also said that Juan Mershon is someone who can be strict when it comes to sentencing. From a legal standpoint, walk us through what a judge actually does when it comes to figuring out what a sentence may be. So let me just start with this, with saying that Judge Mershon was found by the Intermediate Appellate Court in Manhattan a few years ago on the Soccer Mom Madam case. You can look that up for excessively uh, for putting in putting her in with an excessive bail amount that was reduced by the Appellate Court, and he was found to be basically way out of bounds for the bail he put on this woman. So he's someone that's well known for incarcerating people. He's got that reputation in New York County where I practice. The, the thing that he's supposed to look at for this kind of felony is somewhat similar to the federal system where you look at the history and characteristics of a defendant. So this gets really interesting, right? What, what are the people I'm sorry, the people being the district attorney's office, what are they going to say? And what are his lawyers going to say? In a typical case, what both sides would do is put something in writing and in a defense packet, it's called a mitigation packet, you put together a, a letter to the court which highlights the, the history and characteristics of, of a defendant, the good things he has done. Then you get support letters, potentially in different types of cases, not in this, you may get some kind of social work report or psychologist report. I imagine here that there would be something about Trump and his charitable works. And I'm sure the district attorney will counter with all this other stuff that, you know, such as uh, inciting a mob on January 6th to say that he's deserving of prison time. And I, I am sure the district attorney's office will be asking for prison time because this is Manhattan and he's got to keep his fan base happy. Well, and you're a criminal defense attorney and I know Trump says that he is going to appeal this. What are the grounds that you appeal on? So after July 11th, as your correspondent had said, the defense has to 30 days to file a notice of appeal will probably be filed that day or the day after. It's just a single one page piece of paper that says that they intend to appeal. And then they're going to have to get a briefing schedule from the uh, appellate court, which sits on Madison Avenue in the 20s uh, near Madison Park. So they'll get a schedule that says, OK, you know, defense uh, uh, brief uh, in by the such and such date. Usually it's about 90 days plus then the then the prosecution gets to respond. The grounds are going to be numerous. I mean, the the failure to move this case to a uh, venue that would be fair, which didn't have the same harsh anti-Trump, rabid anti-Trump base that you have in Manhattan, the decisions of Judge Mershon, which said that the prosecution didn't have to show which particular crime was the underlying crime for which he was said to have concealed these financial transactions, which can cause great jury confusion. And you know, those, were, I would think, would be the uh, main grounds at this point. There's going to be others. I mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff that came up throughout this trial. And I'm sure you know the appeals court in New York and how it works. Based on that, how likely is it that this gets appealed? or that appeal continues on, that it would be a new trial or overturned? Yeah, so let me, let me put things in context for you in terms of first time period. Uh, you, you recently heard that Harvey Weinstein had his conviction reversed by the New York's highest court, which is called the Court of Appeals, which sits in Albany. Weinstein was tried in 2019. In 2024, it got a decision from the high court. So Harvey Weinstein took five years, so it can take I would think that that is a typical, that is sort of the way that some of these cases take. Um, the chances of the intermediate appellate court reversing, I think, are slim. But I think that ultimately it will get to the Court of Appeals, and I think he's got a fair chance there of getting his conviction reversed. And if that doesn't work, he can then take what's called a federal habeas within one year of the final decision from New York's high court 
and then go take this case to federal court and take it up the federal street. So I've which means the trial court in Manhattan, uh, intermediate appellate court, court of appeals, and even to the U.S. Supreme Court. There's a talking point I've heard from some Trump supporters since this verdict came down that I just want to run by you. Uh, and I'm just reading from the New York Times that Judge Juan Mershon has donated a total of $35 to the campaigns in 2020, including a $15 donation earmarked for the Biden campaign and a $10 donation to a group that's called Stop Republicans. Uh, and this article was about how a state ethics panel uh, had quietly dismissed that complaint last summer. When it comes to the appeal process, the fact that he has made, uh, according to New York Times, these political donations, how much could that matter? So that's an that's a excellent question. And the answer is probably not much. Uh, for the appellate court, because it, to to explain it, you have to understand how the New York uh, judiciary works. It, it's it's a political system. It's all about the. It's a one party system in New York City. Only the Democrats get to choose who are the judges, and so, you know, part of this is, you know, he he went up the proper appropriate channels to get appointed. It's not like the federal bench, which you have to go through the whole Senate confirmation process. They're appointed for a, a lifetime. This is a fixed term. And in order to keep getting appointed, you have to be political. And so it's highly unlikely, which when all the judges on the intermediate appellate court are also gonna be Democratic Party appointees, uh, you know, that anything like this is going to uh, have that particular thing is going to have an effect on his appeal or in any way that's going to help um, Donald Trump at the intermediate uh, appellate court level. It may potentially sure. help him if he has to go to federal court, but unlikely to help him in state court. All right, Vanu Varghese, criminal defense attorney. We got the verdict, but the story far from over. Thanks for joining us.